proper environment. Amen? Amen. So we share that God is community-minded. So the victory of Gideon was based on the victory, or was attached to the victory of the community, rather. So God told Gideon, go in this part of Michael, you shall deliver Israel out of the hand of the Midianites. So his victory was attached to the victory of Israel. Your victory, your success in life, other people are attached to you. There are folk that are waiting for you to succeed. <laughs> Amen? Your success in life, it's not just for you alone. There are villages, there are homes, there are brothers, there are uncles, there are friends and families around you that are waiting for you to succeed Amen. so you can help them succeed. Amen. Amen? Let's look into the scripture real quick. In Luke chapter 22, go to Luke chapter 22 real quick. Because our personal victories are connected to the community victory. And the way of fruitfulness is through the seed. Jesus speaking to Peter about something that's about to happen in Luke 22, verse, verse 31. And the Lord said to Simon, Simon, indeed, Satan has asked for you. Wow. That's a revelation right there. The devil cannot do anything to you as a child of God without God's permission. Are you with me? Jesus says, Satan has asked for you that he may sift you as wheat. The word sift here is the word, is a, is a Greek word, is sizon. It's sinazo, sinazo. I'm not doing a good word pronouncing it. But what it really literally means is to be tried or to be proved by trial. An inward agitation that trying to damage your faith. It says Satan is planning to sift you as wheat. When you sift wheat, what comes out of the sifter is the good stuff, the wheat itself. The essence of, swift, or of sifting is to get rid of the impurities that are in it. Shake your faith, but this one He's talking about to shake your faith to the extent of damaging your faith. So Satan was after Peter's faith. Why? Because Peter showed passion. Peter had conviction. He had passion because he told Jesus, I'll die with you. I'll go to Jerusalem with you. I'll die with you. So, so Satan went, let me at him. <laughs> Satan goes, let me at him. And Jesus told Peter, Satan has permission for you, just like he did with Job. He told God, yes, you, you're proud of Job, but let me at him. This shows that there's been a protection, even in the Old Testament. And there's been a protection, a protective edge over the children of God. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. This is God's way of dealing with us. Protect us. But I, want, but, but, but I want to show you what Jesus told Peter here. Jesus speaking to Peter says to Peter, but I have prayed for you that your faith should not fail. Wait a minute. Jesus with this anointed prayed for Peter that his faith should not fail. And yet we see Peter denying that he knew Jesus. What's going on here? Isn't Jesus strong enough to pray? Isn't Jesus connecting with the Father? How many times have you prayed and things don't look like what you've prayed for and you turn down your faith? That don't mean you don't have faith because it hasn't come into fruition what you've been praying. Listen, well, let's read the scripture well. I want you to see what's happening in this word here. I want you to understand that your failure to reach a certain stage in life does not fail. It's not failure yet until you deny God. 
until you deny the existence of God and you fail to return to God. That's what makes you a failure. Failure is when you fail to return to God. Hear what Jesus tells Peter right here. He said to him, But I've prayed for you that your faith should not fail, and when you have returned to me, strengthen your brethren. You see that? He says, I pray that your faith should not fail. See, but when, you've re when you have returned unto me. So what it shows us is that my faith is not tarnished because I did not receive what I want. My faith is damaged when I fail to return to God. What a powerful message. And it's a true message because it's a Jesus message. We hope that you have truly been blessed and that the words that you have heard today has caused a change in your heart. Come worship with us soon. We'll be very happy for you to be a part of our calm family. Until we see you again, remember to always take a calm approach to life. God bless you.